Welcome to this video series on Computer Science 1. In this module, we'll explore conditional statements. This module is split into five sections. First, we'll give an introduction and motivation for the various conditional control statements, as well as the Boolean values and expressions used in them. Then we'll explore conditional statements in C in detail. We'll then focus on the various logical operators and complex logical statements that can be written. Finally, we'll cover some common pitfalls and misconceptions, and finish the series with a few exercises. In this first part, we'll give a general overview of the various conditional statements and logical operators. Normally, programs have a linear sequential control flow. That is, statements are executed top to bottom in the order that they're written. More complex problems require code that can make decisions. Not decisions as a human would make, but instead decisions such as whether to execute a piece of code or not, or whether or not to execute one piece of code or a different piece of code. These decisions are all based on some sort of a condition. If this condition evaluates to true, then one thing happens. If it evaluates to false, a different thing happens. This is illustrated in our first conditional statement, the if statement. In this statement, some condition is specified and evaluated. If it evaluates to true, then some code block of instructions is executed. If it evaluates to false, then the code block is not executed. In either case, normal sequential control flow continues after the conditional statement, and the remainder of the program executes. Alternatively, an if-else statement can be used to specify that some block of code should execute if the condition evaluates to false. This can be seen as a generalization of the if statement, since we can specify an alternative rather than doing nothing. We can generalize this even further with an if-else-if statement that provides two conditions. If the first condition evaluates to true, then we execute some block of code. Otherwise, if it evaluates to false, then we check a secondary condition. If that secondary condition is true, then we execute a different block of code. Otherwise, if both are false, then we execute a third block of code. In fact, you can take this as far as you like, defining as many conditions as are necessary with alternative code blocks for each. It is important to understand that each of these blocks of code is mutually exclusive. That is exactly one and only one of these pieces of code is executed, never more than one. The first condition that evaluates to true is the one that it gets executed. All of these conditional statements are based on Boolean conditions, which are logical expressions that either evaluate to true or false. Such conditions may involve a simple numeric comparison, such as testing whether or not a variable a's value is greater than or equal to zero. This is a simple condition, but we can also define more complex expressions. We can connect one or more logical expressions using various logical operators, such as AND, OR, and the negation operator. With simple numeric comparisons, we may compare the relative value of two variables, or we may compare a variable's value to some fixed value, also known as a literal. For example, are two values equal or not equal? Is one value greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to another? Is one value strictly greater than or less than another value? Mathematically, we'd use the following standard notations. However, most of these symbols are not conveniently located on your standard keyboard. Instead, in code, we use the following alternatives, which we'll cover in depth later on. Logical operators can be combined using connectives, such as the logical AND operator. If we have two expressions, A and B, also called operands, that you can each evaluate to either true or false, then we have the following four possibilities. They can both be false, one can be true while the other one is false and vice versa, or they can both be true. The result of a logical AND is true if and only if both of the operands is true. In code, we use two ampersands to denote the logical AND operator. The logical OR operator also works on two operands with the same four possible truth values. However, the result of the logical OR is true if at least one of the operands is true. Observe that if both operands are true, the result is still true. It is only false when both operands are false. In code, we use two vertical lines to denote the logical OR. Sometimes these are referred to as either as pipes or Sheffer strokes. Finally, a logical negation can be used to flip the truth value of a single operand. If A is false, then its negation becomes true. If A is true, then its negation becomes false. In code, we use the exclamation point to denote the logical negation. 
In the next part, we'll make these concepts more concrete by examining how they are realized in code.